Hi, I'm Brian from Body and Brain, and today we're going to do a easy but very effective uh, Qigong sequence. You can do this any time of the day. I recommend the morning time if you can. If you use this to start your day, you'll feel refreshed and a lot of bright energy throughout your day. So first, you open your feet about shoulder width apart, and then just let your weight roll onto the front of your feet a little bit. About maybe 60 to 70% of your weight on the front half of your feet, but keep your heels on the floor. And then just lightly, you can move your body up and down like this. And yeah, just try to keep your weight a little bit over the balls of your feet. And you can feel, when you move up and down, you can feel your feet connecting with the earth, with the ground. Yeah, try to feel the presence of the ground beneath your feet. And just relax your mind, relax your brain, relaxing your neck and shoulders. As you focus on your feet, as you feel the balls of your feet connecting with the earth, you can just breathe in through your nose, relax your jaw and breathe out through your mouth. Again, you can breathe in and breathe out. And one more time, breathing in and breathe out. And just keep breathing comfortably. And you can try to feel just letting your shoulders relax. Let your elbows relax, let your wrists, let your palms and fingers relax all the way down to your fingertips. And let your chest and torso relax. Let your lower back relax, your waist, hip joints, knees and ankles. Yeah, if you have a difficult time doing this at first, just keep practicing. It takes a little bit of practice to let yourself relax and just flow with the movement. But keep feeling the soles of your feet. This is grounding your energy in your body and mind and helping you connect more with the, with the uh, grounding of the earth. At the same time, it's relaxing your mind, clearing your head. And then slowly you can stop and just rest for a moment. You can stand comfortably and just feel, notice if you feel any tingling sensation on your palms and your fingertips. Just relax and feel the sensations through your arms, through your body. Okay, good, and then slowly you can bring your feet a little bit closer together. If you can, you can bring them all the way together. And you just roll your weight again onto the front half of your feet. That's a healthy way to stand to help you bring your power to your lower body more. And bend your knees just slightly. You can also tuck your tailbone just a little bit forward so you feel a little bit of space in your lower back. Okay, and then with your arms resting by your side, First, you can just breathe in through your nose and lift up towards your chest. Turning your hands outward, as you breathe out, you can push straight out in front of you, exhaling out through your mouth. Good, and then breathing in through your nose, you're gathering the energy now with your, with your fist slightly, pulling back towards your lower abdomen, towards your energy center, and then just exhale, relax, coming down. Good, very good. Okay, again, just breathing in. And then turn in your hands and breathe out. You're just circulating the energy through your body now with your breath. Breathing in, pulling all the way back towards your lower abdomen. And again, breathing out, relax. Good, and one more time. Breathing in, good, turn and breathe out. Good, keep your shoulders relaxed and breathing in, pulling all the way back towards your lower abdomen and just breathe out one more time. Okay, good, then you can let your arms just rest comfortably by your side still, and now, slowly, you can bring your arms up, keep your shoulders nice and relaxed, just lifting up to the height of your shoulders, okay, and then pull back down, just to the level of your lower abdomen, your energy center of your body. Okay, breathing in through your nose, and breathe out through your mouth. Good, relax your upper body. Breathing in, and breathe out. Very good. Keep your shoulders and chest nice and relaxed. One more time, breathing in. And breathe out. Good, and then just hold your hands about the level of your lower abdomen. You can keep your wrists just a little bit bent, and then you can open your feet a little bit wider apart. About a little bit wider than shoulder width is good. Okay, and just keeping the knees bent a little bit deeper this time. Your weight can stay the same way on the front half of the feet and just tuck your tailbone once again, 
create the space in your lower back. That also helps energy accumulate to your energy center in your body here when you tuck the tailbone just slightly. Okay, and then from here again, just coming up, you can lift up just to the height of the shoulders and then pulling back down to the lower abdomen and resting there. Okay, breathing in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Again, breathing in and breathe out. Good, one more time, breathing in and breathe out. Okay, good. And then just simply, you can bring your hands out in front of you like you're holding a ball between your hands here. And keep feeling the, the uh, sensation, if you, uh, any sensation you might feel on your palms and fingertips. If you don't feel much, that's okay. But when you keep practicing Qigong, you can feel the presence of energy between your hands. Okay, this time, breathing in, coming out, keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. And breathe out, coming back. Breathing in, and breathe out. Good, one more time, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, good. Okay, you can keep your lower body nice and strong, okay, and bring your arms up to the, to the side. You can just turn from your waist, okay. This one, can take a little bit of practice, but you just turn your waist and let your palms come across the front of your body like this but let your power, let your movement be driven from your waist and from your core here. And just keep your upper body nice and relaxed. Almost like the upper body is following the, the lower body or the core. Okay, and then the other direction. You can just breathe comfortably, feel your waist and lower back. Okay, again, pulling back the other direction. Good, and coming back. Already the power is starting to accumulate through your lower body. And coming back the other side, keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed. Keep feeling your, the sensation on the palms and the fingertips, energy sensation. And then you can bring your left hand down a little bit lower, about to the height of your waist. Okay, and then pulling back this way. Good, and the other way. Feel your waist, feel your lower back. Again, turn. Good, and back. Okay, and we'll go one more time each way. Turn, just breathing comfortably. Keep your body and mind nice and relaxed. And going back the other way. Okay, as you come back this time, you can extend all the way back with your left hand back behind you. And let your palm face upward. If you look from the side, Keep the lower body bent, keep tucking the tailbone, and then just turning your body so your chest is really facing to the side. Okay, and then from this position, all the way back, and then turn, pull your, your, your front hand, whatever hand's in the front, in my case, my right hand, pull across your waist, and just push straight out in front of you. Yeah, keeping your knees bent. Okay, and then the other side, you can do it with your breath, you can breathe in, Coming back with your left hand and then breathe out, comfortably as you push straight ahead and turn your upper body, make sure you turn the waist and keep the shoulders and chest nice and relaxed, keep your power in the lower body. Okay, again, breathing in. And breathe out. Good, feel your legs. Again, breathing in. And breathe out. Good, one more time, each side. Breathing in. And breathe out. And last one, breathing in. And breathe out. Okay, very good. And then you can just cross your arms like this in front of your chest, okay? Standing comfortably. Keep feeling the soles of your feet through your legs. You can open your feet just a little bit wider. And then this time, you can sink down to one side. Sink down to your right side. Okay, and then you can bring your right hand up to about the height of your head, a little bit, just, just slightly above your head. You can turn your palm a little bit outward, so it helps to open your chest and open your shoulder area. And you can bring your left hand down just about the height of your, of your uh, lower abdomen. Okay, and then try to keep your, your waist and your shoulders parallel to the ground as you do this one. And then just gazing with your eyes to the 
opposite direction of where you're, where you're, where you're putting your weight. And then you can shift. So you just breathe in using your breath. You can breathe in through your nose, crossing your arms in front, and then just breathe out, going down the other side. Again, feel your soles, feel your legs. Good. Try one more the other way. Breathe in. And breathe out. Keep relaxing upper body. And one more time. Breathing in. And breathe out. Feel your legs, feel the soles of your feet. And then slowly, you can come back to the center, just bringing your feet all the way together. You can come close. And then we'll do the finishing, finishing breathing. This is just to kind of ground and center your energy at the end. A little bit more deeply, you just breathe in through your nose, coming up. And bringing the energy down to your center, just breathing out comfortably all the way down to your lower abdomen. Again, breathing in. And breathe out. And one more time, breathing in. And breathe out. Centering the energy. And you can relax your arms by your side and just shake it out lightly. Loosen up a little bit when you finish. You can swing a little bit side to side. Relax your spine, relax your back. And back to the center. All right, yes, yeah, so that's a short little Qigong sequence you can follow. The most important thing in Qigong is bringing your awareness to your feeling to your body. So even if your movements are not exactly right at the beginning, it's okay. When you keep practicing over time and you get more connected with your feeling to your body and mind, naturally your, your form, so the Qigong develops. But what's important is bringing your mind inside, relaxing, and just focusing on your feeling. Your body will guide you as you keep connecting with your feeling inside. I hope you enjoy and keep watching Body and Brain TV for more tips. Thank you so much.